We. <laughs> so it's good, good to see you, Will. I, I understand that you are uh, red zoned from uh, 10 cities. Is that right? Uh, you. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Why? What happened? Uh, one night, um, our, all of our electronics died, and I thought, I'm like, okay, well, this there's an outlet like right across the street. Like, yeah. it's, like I'm, it's not like I'm murdering someone. I'm just grabbing the power so I have like power for my cell phone to call somebody like, if needed, right? Like, and then like next thing you know, this guy busts out his curtains, like threatening me. He's like, get the hell out of here before I bash your head in. I was like, okay, man. And, like, and then like, um, I, so I grab my electronics and then like I go back to my, to a tent and then, but then I realized I, I forgot the cell phone, like one of the cell phones, because like it was a dozen cell phones, right? Yeah. So I forgot one of the cell phones, so I go back and then like I barely make it half halfway across the street and then like uh, there's cops right behind me and then like they're like hey, you, you're under arrest this, this guy just called us he said that you're threatening him threatening his life <clears throat> yeah it was hard to so, um, so next thing you know I've been red zone like pretty much ever since it's been open <laughs> Ten City was open yeah uh, and you were a Ten City resident there. Oh uh, yeah, I was yeah. pretty much like one of the first ones there. Like, yeah, I remember. Yeah. yeah. Do you know of any other people who are being red zoned because of? I'm not too sure. I mean, like, yeah. um, I don't really talk to too much people, but. Yeah. Like, okay. Thank you for sharing that. No, thank you. And I think it's wrong. It's a human rights uh, violation. Uh, police in Victoria for over 20 years have been using red zones to keep poor people away from services. Watermelon. Right on. Thank you. Uh -huh. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Take care.